Because this is actually a really good true story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she plays real, who is a real writer. And at the point that we see her in the movie, uh, she's had a hit. It was like on the New York Sellers. What's that list called? New, New, York, New York Times bestseller. New York Sellers. Times yeah. bestseller. Thank you. <laughs> and she had a hit on there. And, you know, uh, at this point, she just can't write a book that's hitting. It's uh, She's pretty much washed up at this point. One of my problems with the movie is because her character is actually really, really bitchy. And they don't really give a lot of reason for that. The only thing they mention subtly is that she hasn't had hit in years. But I don't know if it's enough. And you see some of the things that she does in this movie. I don't know if it's enough to drive a person that insane. So I would like to look into that more. Uh, because I definitely want to see what drove her that way. You know, was it the money? Did she go nuts in her time of, you know, bank? So she, per se? maybe she just fed up with people in general. It's it's maybe. I just felt like it should have been explained because of the way the movie goes. You know, okay. it's just like in that moment, it felt like something was. You wanted more of an explanation just, towards just the character's for that. motives. And I think that was m- one of my biggest issues. Another thing is there's this very funny uh, man that she meets. He's a gay man. Yeah. And he's a, he's a real comic relief to the movie, and he's awesome. But there's a point in the movie, there's like a chunk in the movie where he's just gone mm-hmm. and came back up again and plays a significant role which is great but in that chunk i was like i kind of forgot he was there you know <laughs> like he they should have like put him in in a couple moments so those are my only two issues which are very very minor uh but what she did was because she you know she was running out of money she's got these bills obviously yeah and she needs money so she's she's making up documents of other authors um and she's just typing them out and selling them to like bookstores. And she's making like 400 bucks a pop off these things. Oh. Yeah, and she's making them look legit because she is a writer. She right. can make these letters from other other writers sound legit. And it's just, it's pretty much once she starts doing that, that movie's just kind of a ride from that point forward. And it's just like, oh my God. Like, she's making money doing this. And it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, what was the movie based on? Like, is it time period wise? Yeah. You know, that's another thing. I think they said it maybe in the beginning, but I, I don't remember. But it wasn't that long ago, I don't think. Well, okay. would you say like 80s or 70s? I think even. I think more cl- closer to our time okay. than that. Really? Like, yeah. Because you said 400 to, you know. Yeah, it seemed, like, it seemed closer to our time, but the movie doesn't like do anything to date itself either. You know what I mean? Like, it could really be. No selfies? No. <laughs> Not that I remember. <laughs> um, I got to see it again. No Facebook. Yeah, not that I remember. No. No death threats online. Um, uh, not that I remember. I mean, it, it, <laughs> maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, she, I mean, she, it definitely takes it takes place in like New York City. Um, yeah. and it's like obviously bookstores were popping around that whatever time it was. So, oh, so yeah. like a hundred years ago. <laughs> Some of the shots in the movie, uh, just like it, she, uh, the director just did decide to just pretty much use the city as like. To almost help tell the story, and then mm-hmm. just those shots were gorgeous in the movie, and that was something that I really loved. But this director I know is doing the new Mr. Rogers movie with Tom Hanks, so I was really excited about that. Uh, and that, yeah, this just gives me confidence in that movie. Okay. Yeah. So it was really, really good. Melissa McCarthy really kills it, <laughs> and I think she should be nominated for an Oscar. I mean, oh, it's that good. Movie. It's that good of a performance. She is fantastic in this movie blew me away and then like right at the end she just she does something in her performance and i'm not going to give it away yeah it's she does something in within the performance that just it really moves you you know in a really great way 